subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. This is a simple electrical circuit. If the circuit is completed, will the small bulb light up? Click on the crocodile clip to find out. Yes, as expected, the small bulb lights up. This is because electric current can flow through carbon. Carbon is an electrical conductor. Carbon does not show any physical or chemical changes as the electric current flow through it. Will the small bulb light up if the carbon rods are dipped into a solution? Or molten substances? Is it possible? What do you think? At the end of this lesson, students should be able to state the meaning of electrolyte, classify substances into electrolytes and non-electrolytes, and relate the presence of freely moving ions to electrical conductivity. The meaning of electrolyte Experience tells us that metals are good electrical conductor, whether in a solid form like copper wire or in liquid form like mercury. Does that mean only metal can conduct electricity? Substances like copper 2 sulfate solution and molten lead 2 bromide are able to conduct electricity, but not in solid state. Why? Let's take copper 2 sulfate as an example. Copper 2 sulfate is an ionic compound. In solid state, copper 2 sulfate does not conduct electricity. This is because, in solid state, ions are not freely moving. Instead, they are fixed in positions in the crystal lattice structure. When dissolved, ions in copper 2 sulfate solution freely moving. As electric current passes through, the positively charged ions in the electrolyte, that is the copper 2 ions and hydrogen ions from water, move towards carbon rod, which attach to the negative terminal of the batteries. And the negatively charged ions in the electrolyte, that is the sulfate ions and the hydroxide ions from water, move towards carbon rod, which attach to the positive terminal of the batteries, which then complete the circuit. Same thing happened with molten lead to bromides. As electric current passes through it, freely moving positive ions, lead to ions and move towards carbon rod, attaches to the negative terminal of the batteries, and the freely moving negative ions, bromide ions, move towards carbon rod, attaches to the positive terminal of the batteries. Now, can you explain why electrolytes are able to conduct electricity? Yes, in both cases, lead 2 bromides and copper 2 sulfate are ionic compounds. In a form of molten or solution, ionic compound or in this case, the electrolytes are able to conduct electricity because the presence of freely moving ions. And the electric current causes non-spontaneous chemical reaction to take place, which broken down the electrolyte in molten or solution state into their constituent elements. Substances such as molten sugar and naphthalene, alcohol solution and bromine water cannot conduct electricity. Can you explain why? Discuss your reasoning in your group and share your ideas with other groups. The ability of water with dilute sulfuric acid added to allow electricity passes through it and undergo chemical changes makes it an electrolyte. Water is just an example. Strong acid and copper 2 sulfate solution as well as molten lead 2 bromide are also an electrolyte. As electric current passes through an electrolyte, 
The electrolyte is broken down into its constituent elements. This process is called electrolysis. Now, with all information given and observation data gathered, can you define electrolysis and electrolyte? Fill in the blanks to check your understanding. Drag the words given into the appropriate blanks. Press enter when you are done to check your answers. Will give any let's investigate which solutions is an electrolyte and which solution isn't. You are given four aqueous solution, copper two sulfate solution, sugar solution, chlorine water, and sulfuric acid. Predict whether the M meter will give any readings and decide whether the solution is an electrolyte or not. Click a solution. Observe the M meter and any changes occur around the carbon rods. Type in your observation, then press enter. <coughs> Click another solution. Observe the ammeter and any changes occur around the carbon rods. Type in your observation, then press enter. Click another solution. Observe the ammeter and any changes occur around the carbon rods. Type in your observation, then press enter. <coughs> Click another solution. Observe the ammeter and any changes occur around the carbon rods. Type in your observation, then Press Enter. From the data gathered, copper to sulfate and sulfuric acid allow electric current pass through and at the same time undergo chemical changes. Therefore, copper to solutions and sulfuric acid are electrolytes and sugar solution and chlorine water are non-electrolytes. Now that we know, not all aqueous solutions are electrolytes. Lights in solid. Let's investigate which of these substances is electrolyte and which are not. You are given two substances. They are lead to iodide powder and naphthalene powder. Lead to iodide and naphthalene powder are not electrolytes in solid. Will they behave the same if in molten state? Let's find out. Click lead to powders. Observe the ammeter and any changes occur around the carbon rods. Fill in the observation table. Press Enter when you are done. Now, click the other substance and observe the ammeter and any changes occur around the carbon rods. Fill in the observation table. Press Enter when you are done. <coughs> what conclusion can you draw from this investigation? In this lesson, you have learned that electrolysis is a process where the electrolytes are broken down into its constituent elements by passing electricity through it. An electrolyte is a chemical substance which conducts electricity in either molten or aqueous state, decomposing to produce its component elements. Electrolytes are ionic compounds. Ionic compounds are able to conduct electricity in either molten or solution state because of the presence of freely moving ions. A non-electrolyte is a substance which cannot conduct electricity in any state. 
Non-electrolytes covalent compound are not able to conduct electricity in molten or solution state because there are no freely moving ions present. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.